<laughs> Archaeology day one. Let's go, baby. So I'm not gonna bore everyone with step-by-step -step stuff here at the beginning because we've all been grinding know how to do this stuff I just really wanted to go over some of my highlights from the first couple weeks and my thoughts on archaeology I'm not going to lie. I was grinding for a while and it took me up until like level 50 to figure out what I was actually doing This is probably because I was skipping through dialogue and just winging it But that's what was making it fun, right? So there's like so many people playing runescape again obviously with like uh, COVID, there's so many people at home, but like the new skill, I think, brought so many people back to the game, and it's just so awesome. You know, there's so many people learning the new skill, the world's been bumping, clan chats are popping off. Man, what a blast the game has been recently. The last couple of weeks, I've been lucky enough to grind out a lot of archaeology uh, at home, just like AFK. Since I've been working from home, it's been pretty easy to just have the game up in the background while I'm work getting work done. Shout out Alt 1 for, you know, making it easy for what I'm about to log out and stuff. I've been using porters with my uh, Grace of the Elves, which definitely helps out. I haven't even really looked at my bank from all the procs that we've gotten from the spirits. <laughs> uh, now, I honestly think I'd be much higher in level than I am right now, but I can't stop selling the mats. Seriously, the materials have been going for so much GP from like day one, right? The market in this game for the mats is just so crazy. I think through the first couple days, I made over 200 mil just from selling chronotes and materials I was getting. Like the chronotes alone, I got, I think I sold 25,000 of them for like 2.3k each. Just like, this was nuts. Especially because, you know, double XP wasn't that long ago and I spent, I don't know, all my bank on herblore and then i've been i've been buying like greater fury we got greater barge you know those things like just add up oh greater flurry as well so I mean, i've just been spending all my money so archaeology coming in at the right time making a ton of bank i figured uh, let's get this gp first and then deal with the xp later when things start dropping okay let's repair some stuff and it's another level nice leveling up 36 all right, we got our last piece to go into this secret passage. This big old fireplace looking ass. Check it out. What do we got here? Okay. All right. I think we just stayed at this one area for quite some time. And then we ended up moving back to like the Everlight area and just like grind it. Sometimes people put down these deposit boxes and they're so clutch. Like you never have to leave. It's, I, don't, I mean, some people are using porters, but like, if you have a deposit box right here, I'm clicking on that shit. So I'm not gonna lie, this next part, I was AFK playing some Town of Salem and we ended up getting the pet, which was so nuts. Level 64, oh my gosh. I have been seeing people get this damn thing like the whole first week, like it seemed like everybody had it. I was like, what the heck? I'm probably gonna just be well over 99 and still, ha still not have it, but here we are. Let's get this thing, it's so cool. So apparently I was supposed to do this like, uh, ritual thing a lot earlier than I actually did and <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter right you can just like do these things whenever but I'm falling so far behind on these mysteries I feel like I should have way more done than I've been doing but I've just been afk and stuff like I don't know I should really spend my time and just try to complete the mysteries that are available to me right now and then I think whatever the level 70 um, achievement is I should probably get that I don't think it's assistant we already have assistant, uh, whatever the next one is. I think it's because I don't have these mysteries done and I'm an idiot, so. Okay, so we just got to level 70 after just restoring a bunch of these things, which means that we can use a new teleport area. Okay, Stormguard Citadel. Let's travel there now. Ooh, where are we? Stormguard Portal, Big Birdie Boy. Destroy this. Let's get this out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let me hop in this ball. What? Talk with the site manager first. Nah. Can't do anything here. Okay, so where are we exactly? Oh, south of the Raging Guild. Okay. I'm 73rd Age Iron, White Oak, Stormguard, Steel, and Wings of War. Okay. Well, let's get digging, boys. What's down here? Oh, don't think I'm supposed to be down here. 
Back up the ladder, please. Okay, so we went down into the portal, and that's apparently where you get these, like, floating boots, I guess. People have said they were there for, like, a few hours, and I'm like, uh, okay, that sucks. And I was there legit no longer than five minutes and got these bad boys. Okay, so I think now we can go traverse these gaps, right? Should we be able to? Oh, yeah, we floaty boys now. Leap of faith, easy mysteries. Everything here is like level 76, so we're going to have to come back when we can actually do that stuff. Uh, new research available, though. That's good. Seems like a bad idea. I don't think I can trust these boots of flight over such a large distance. All right, well, we need to come back when we can get some wings or some shit. I can't do anything at this place right now. <laughs> okay, so I stockpiled a bunch of these, and since I haven't been, like, you know, keeping any of the mats, I just kind of sold a bunch of the expensive ones and bought some of the cheaper ones. So right here, I'm just repairing like a ton of these artifacts. We should go up like a full level, I'm guessing, because we had so many of them, which is crazy. Now that we're in level 76, we're able to go on to the final like teleport area. At least I think that's the last area you can teleport to as of now. And there's so many more places I have to go to because I'm not really high level yet. That pretty much wraps up like my first couple weeks. As I said, I should be a lot higher in level, but I just pff, I can't stop selling. It's like I feel like I'm making like 50 mil a day if I'm not buying any more mats. It's crazy. But like my final thoughts on archaeology so far is that it's awesome. It starts out really slow in the beginning, but it's AFK. So like any AF skill, AFK skill is a great skill in my book. I've noticed that later on the skills start picking up XP wise. And like I said, if I were to stop selling all my mats, uh, I probably could start making some serious progress. I've seen so many pals make so much GP from either like Big Game Hunter when the Dragon Maddox are selling like for 100 mil plus. I mean, I had some people that were telling me they sold for like three or 400 mil, which is just wild. And on the other hand, I've seen some of y'all crazy just dropping mad cash. So uh, thanks for the GP. We appreciate it. <laughs> all in all, the skill is great. I'm glad that RuneScape dropped a new one. I, long story short, New skills are awesome. Okay, so I guess let's get the elephant out of the room. If you haven't noticed already, we're rocking a Santa hat, and it couldn't have been possible without my man's root. <laughs> he just messages me at one night on Discord and goes, Yo, what are you doing? Like nothing, just chilling, AFKing some stuff, probably gonna go to bed soon. He goes, Come to Priff right now. <laughs> I'm like, Okay. And he goes and trades me, and here it is, this beautiful Santa hat. I'm like, dude, he's like, shut up and just take it. <laughs> so here I am, rocking a Santa hat now. I, if any of you know, like, I've been trying to get a Santa hat for, like, forever. I just, like, couldn't justify spending the GP on it. I don't know. It was just really expensive, but my man's root came through, gave it to me, and I, uh, I appreciate it so much because I fucking love this thing. Thanks, Root. I wanted to sort of address the other progress series I have. I mean, it's literally called Post Max Progression Series, which I no longer am. So I don't know, like, what my plan is right now for that. I think I'm going to just do, you know, a mix of archaeology, and then I I'd like to start bossing again because... I just feel like I was on a roll and then I stopped playing RS for a little bit, just doing more FK stuff. And now here we are with archaeology. This is all that anybody's been doing. So it'd be nice to get back into doing some bossing and like mix it in with this. We shall see. I don't know if I'm going to just like change the title of it. I mean, it's definitely going to just say it still say like Gumby sucks at RuneScape because let's be honest, I definitely do. <laughs> I just want to say thanks for everybody watching. Uh, I know some people have reached out and like, yo, when's the next video dropping? That's super cool that like people actually care about the videos and uh, y'all are awesome for watching. Good luck on the archaeology grind. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll check y'all in the next video. Fuck yes, baby!